But you know, also uh, another thing that I sacrifice, hmm. being married. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Why did you sacrifice? What made you think that you had to sacrifice to pursue this? Okay, there was a guy I was dating, mm -hmm. and oh my God, uh, just we were just yes, yes. And then, but I was on the road, and he said, "I can't deal with that. I want you home every night." Mm. You, you feel it? Oh, that? oh I Ooh. feel it. That, I hit, that hit me in the gut. Go ahead. Ooh. But it's like, okay, babe, you see my check? Can you do that? We, if in the house, now, because then I asked them, I said, what are some things that you need besides yeah. me physically there? You and right. I said, I can make sure you got meals. Yeah. Home-cooked meals. I could even make sure you get some pop-up meals. Yeah. Get my girl Kenya or Lisa. Can y'all drop off a pot pie or something? Yeah. You know, drop it off and then leave. You are not to come in my house while I'm not there. Yeah. But this is what you do. And I said, I got some other little tricks I could show you. It can be just like I was at home. He was like, mm -mm. no. And my family had an anytime fitness, had a gym. Okay. So he said, well, why don't you just open up another gym here in Atlanta and then you could run that and then... I said, that ain't me, babe. No. I said, I'm an actor, so sometimes I'll go away and come back, but I'm smart with my money. I know how to put my money in places to grow, put my money to the side, and it's my Lord, have mercy. Uh, I've given up on having kids. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at this point, and I'm going like, okay, so no kids, no husband, and I did it for my career, I, I can't say was it worth it. I can't even ask that question. Yeah. Because in God's order, if it was, if it was the right man, then they would have understood. <sighs> okay, I have a confession, that which is really bad. Yeah. I would not want to date. Uh, if if I saw me on paper and how I go through stuff, I don't think I would want to date me. So I think that's where my challenge comes in, in dating people, because I'm expecting, not expecting, I, I really, I'll never forget, this is the best way my professor said in college. She said, she came to me one day, she said, Chantel, please don't date another actor. Mm -hmm. And I said, what she said, listen, um, can you tell me the newest and the most innovative building on campus? I said, Belcher. She said, what is my last name? Belcher. So you get somebody who can take care of so you're free to do your art. Mm -hmm. I said, oh. It, 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 it get, I mean, this was the bad, she said, mm -mm. I knew very clearly that I was an artist. Mm -hmm. I became a teacher, and that's what, so I knew dating another thespian yeah. was going to be a struggle. So I met a man who appreciated me and loved me for who I am yeah. and what my desire was. And I, I just, I've never... I haven't been that lucky.